called to do a strip show for some girl's birthday party at the Kennedy Inn, Kennedy Airport, um, uh, for some girl's birthday. It just, it's got that orgy smell on it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I go, man. The uh, potent that, it, that it could potentially yeah. be an orgy. <laughs> I don't so mean was, like it, was it yeah. you and Not anybody else? Like how so many? It was me, and I called up my boy, Georgie Porgy and Yum Yum. I said, I think this is going to jump off on some freak shit, and it's only me. And although I am more than many men, <laughs> I'm not 13. You know what I mean? I'm not yeah. 13. So yeah, like, a man's got to know his limitations. <laughs> exactly. So I called two dudes. We get there. It's 13 women in a suite, right? No, it was nobody's mama and auntie, just 13 girlfriends. No, you know, it was 13 girlfriends. Okay, because oh there's always an auntie somewhere where you got to be like, all right, y'all ready well, to go. But you know what? <laughs> when you say it like that, that's how I kind of felt that it was it was a, a jump off. Yeah. Because you wouldn't, you'd be like, no, auntie, it's just going to be young. It's going to be, and then we go to the club and we can't take you home before we go to the club. Girl, I, I'll go to the club. No, mm. no auntie. So it was a double suite. They put us in one side of the suite. When I go, I, I, I said, listen, I got two friends with me. It's going to take me time to get dressed. Why don't y'all, my two dudes will warm up, right? And you and and they uh, warm up. It's so funny. It I, takes you a long time to dress as a stripper. but Yeah, and I didn't win. All I wore was loincloths anyway, which was ridiculous, right? But I did have to I did have the baby oil down. I had to oil up, so... The, and and I had to build my headdress. So, it's, but uh, so the uh, the the your stripper name, of course, being Prince Mandingo, of there course. Uh, so the the dude, I I they were in the thing. They say sure. I said just make sure you tip them. You know, they will do it for free, but just tip them nice. So uh, I I get them in the room. I said, listen, well, this is gonna jump off. Uh, no, I go in to ask them that. When I go back in the room. They're all in lingerie. Who? The women? The women. They ch we we changed. They changed. They were in full fishnet body suits, uh, crotchless panties, thigh highs, and garters, wow. and all kinds of shit. There right? was there was definitely like two smut wranglers in them. Um, Thirteen women. Yeah, there it was. was there was somebody be like, trust me, this happens all the time. Yeah, it was. <laughs> and, and what, was this, what was this party for, Dante? What was it? It was event? a birthday party. All right. Okay. This big bitch named Regina, right? <laughs> and she was not really attractive. And, and it was her birthday. It was her birthday, right? Oh boy. So I go in the room and I'm like, I'm like giving everybody the pep talk. I go, look, we go out here. You gotta know, you gotta do your whole set. Don't don't shortcut. Don't do your whole show, and then you work the crowd, and then and then, and I go. And if this jumps off, everybody has to get fucked. <laughs> I go. You can't just go with the dime piece and rock out with the dime piece, or the you know, or the dime piece in a friend. I go. Everybody's got to get hit. If you don't, put, I said, you understand me? I go. You don't pick and choose. You gotta. Everybody got to get hit. This is this is like. As the boat is approaching the beaches of Normandy, <laughs> that you're I'm trying, trying to, to give a talk. D Day. Yeah. <laughs> so here's so they're I know, like, yes, I know you men are scared. And I know <laughs> you got a feeling in your stomach. But, but just know so what we do today will live on forever. <laughs> <laughs> so they're yesing me to death. I go out, put their all in the lawn. I put the, the tape, the dude's tape in. He comes out, right? He does a half a turn. He's a he was a titty guy. Love big titties he saw this girl with like triple e titties and she had a full length fishnet crotchless uh cat suit right he turns does a thing sees her bang right between the titties right and he's no dance moves nothing he's just in the titties <laughs> and he's in the titties in the titties in the titties i'm in the room going what the fuck is he doing i told him to do his whole Set? Why is he at least letting us down? I was like, like a, a, I was like, look, you go out there. I'm gonna put your music on. Do your whole set. Do your whole set. Don't leave your all three records because you want to. It's like the foreplay. 
you took you took off your headphones and you threw your clipboard on the ground. <laughs> I threw my shit down. Sideline. I kicked over the Gatorade. Right. <laughs> 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 I grabbed to my his, his helmet and I was like, oh, "You understand me, you got you do your whole set." He goes out. This is Yum Yum or Georgie. Georgie goes out. This is one chick like the like like Apollonia. It was 1994. <laughs> Apollonia, she was like shoot, shoot, shoot me, right? <laughs> and <laughs> and she, she he sees her, bang, right to her, grinding on her. Whatever the he's he starts fucking her. I'm like Wait, song one, song one, song one goes down on her. He's going down on her. Now where's Yum Yum? Still sucking the titties. <laughs> Still there sucking the titties. So I'm like, oh my god, it's, it's left up to me. I go out and I do my whole show, and I'm back flipping and climbing on the chairs and the couch, and climbing over. I'm tiptoeing. I pick a girl up, I put her on the ground, I grind, I roll backwards, roll up on this other girl's, put, do a handstand, drop my balls into the, on her forehead. I'm doing it. It's hot, whatever. I'm on the thing. I got one girl on the couch, right? I'm on my last song. I'm hitting this one girl. I got fingers in two girls and a girl stands up puts a fucking bush because it was the 90s they didn't shave then put the bush in my face and I'm, a, and I'm doing this right I'm exhausted the lights go out it's a pile of bodies you call climbing over everybody you climb boom 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 like five pumps and you just move on ask me That's where nice. yum yum is Ask me where Yum Yum is. Where's Yum Yum, man? The... Where's Yum Yum? In the Triple E's. Still in the fucking Triple E's sucking titties. Ask me where time just sucking Georgie's titties. behind the couch with the, with the hot girl. He finishes up, goes on the, sits on the thing, and some girl jumps on him, starts riding him. So, but nobody's pulling their weight here, my point. Nobody's pulling my weight. That if, I'm, if I do my math right, that still leaves 10 other women who need to be satisfied. Well, no, he had, well, they each had one, and then you had four. Four. Uh -huh. So and that then means... I'm climbing over, and I'm bumping, like, as I'm climbing on this pile of shit, right? I'm piling up five pumps, and then I just climb, right? So out of the 13, right, I at least got five pumps out of 11 out of 13. And they, and they and your homies only stayed with the one woman each. One with two, and one with one. Mm. Did they did they hang out after? Did they get married? Like I mean, they no. definitely gave up. No. Then so, but here's what happened: because nobody was pulling the weight, everybody was in this freak mood. Then one girl gets up, she goes in the bathroom, and the, you can see the the light from the underneath mm -hmm. the, the, the bathroom and you can hear mm, 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 cause you know, it's like, I didn't come here for this. Uh, now I fucked her and the girl she's talking to, but now all of us say that I didn't come here for this shit. These mm -hmm. bitches are blah, 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 blah. Then somebody else goes in, it's three girls and then it's four girls in the, blah, 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 and it's like, whoop, lights go on, shut down. And that's why everybody has to get fucked, Cody. Oh, listen, listen, who you talking to? You know, I know. Got it, got it, it's got to be on all it take, No, all These it takes guys. is one one person who nobody wants to fuck up all the fun. They'll go down all to the front the desk at a hotel and be like, oh, y'all should know they having a party up there. Yep. <laughs> and they put the address out on the fucking chat line. Yep. Oh, I've been, I've been in those situations. It's just take one, one ugly person that nobody wants will fucking ruin everything. They never start a fire. Oh, they don't give oh, a shit. Oh, you're not gonna fuck me. I'm gonna fuck you. Ah, look. <laughs> Nobody. How did she end up? Now. I mean, they just turned the lights on. One of the girls turned the lights, turned the on, lights everybody on. Everybody just goes, got dressed today. I got paid for my fucking set, and then we went home. And then I berated them on the car ride. All I told y'all niggas, everybody's supposed to get fucked. We would still be yeah. there if you niggas. Were, and they was like. What was their they reply to that? Tips. They what were young. Their... They didn't know better. They was just yeah. I was young yelling. And they, I was yelling at them, and they were just like looking down, like really that I was disappointed in them. You were yelling at them like the great Santini. <laughs> like, did they did they did they learn the error of their ways after that point? Did you ever call them again for a heavy? No, lift? they were in orgies with me, but not because I called them. It was because purely it, circumstantial. It happened to be. It just happened to be around. You man, school.